Hi friends, your business is up and running. You have a good working team with you and you have a good number of customers or clients as well. I have a question for you. How you support your clients? I mean how your customer support works. Your answer might be through WhatsApp, through chat support or through email supports or telephone support. But in this video, I am going to show you a very advanced system of customer support and it is going to be at your WordPress dashboard using a very simple and effective plugin. It is Fluent Support. So just the name, it is really a full featured customer support system. And the best part is that it is available for free on the WordPress plugin section. So of course it has both the option you can enable the premium and the free, free version and you can watch this video that is showing exactly uh, what is available uh, in the fluent support in a very comprehensive manner. I am making this video just to let you know that this support system is really very good and it is working fine on the various WordPress website and you can watch this both video these both videos are really very good so I'm not making for showing you advanced features of fluent support I am just creating here a video for letting you know that this is the solution okay so this is the fluent support and you can download it free I am going to add the link in the description of this video and I'll also install this uh, as a plugin and I'll show you all the features all the options very briefly here uh, so let us first install the plugin and I'll go to the dashboard first of all and in the plugin section I'm going to add the points I'm going to use the pro version so you, you can start with the free version and further you can use the pro version as you need so I have already made a zip file for uploading and okay so let us activate the plugin and I'll show you very quickly this is on a demo website that we created earlier so this is just a demo website and Elementor latest version is also released so I need to update it as well so I believe you are already having a very good hosting for your website so you just watched how fastly I updated the Elementor. So it is very really very important to update all the available plugins, all the installed plugins at your WordPress website. It is a major fault by most of the WordPress website that they are not updating the WordPress core and WordPress plugin. And I believe this is a major fallback of WordPress as well. So if you are not updating you, you are taking a risk of security or you are not getting all the features properly so this is both good and bad so it is of course if you are using the wordpress edge cms you have to maintain all this so let us go to the point and i have already installed the pro and support and we can go in the support tab now i am just finding i am not hiding anything so i need to find on the screen itself and i will find and support requires uh, supports base plugin so okay we need to install one plugin that is base base plugin so let us install and activate this plugin okay now we have installed the fluent support and pro as well so both is here and now I am going to check where is it this is the fluent support and I am going to the dashboard and I'll show you very quickly as I told you you can watch this these two videos actually that is more comprehensive and I'm just showing you how the backing looks like so you can update about your business on this screen so first of all you need to update your business and all so that you may start the fluent support so let us uh, update it I'm going to use it very quickly uh, let us say connect 
and create wpt.com and support port it is and this is for customers so we can select a page uh, like uh, we can have a test page i believe we can check the test page and uh, use sort code on this the select page so we need to have use this sort code as well so i will definitely use this sort code on the text page and install through and support and you at this stage you can also install an additional companion plugin uh, to create tickets uh, using the fluent uh, forms so you we can install this plugin as well just in case uh, and this is not required actually okay so it is ready to go and now we have set it and view the tickets email settings set up associate product services for tickets and manage support staff global setting and go, go to the dashboard so these are the things that we need to do uh, in the next stages so i'll show you i'll show you all this option view ticket email settings so we just need to do all these settings so ticket created and we can manage all these settings so inbox setting and email settings so we need to configure the emails and similarly we have to uh, update these options like if you want to add uh, any text in the footer you can add it here and email settings can be done here and i will take you to the dashboard and as soon as this goes live so we can uh, use the ticket uh, okay that sort code can be used let us first install uh, add the sort code on the page test page that we are using for showing the uh, support system to customers so i will open the page this is the page and uh, i am going to edit with elementor i just need to add a sort code so in the any page builder you can add the sort code without any doubt and i can set the sort code and okay i'm so sorry i need to add column first so okay. i need to add inner section and i am going to add the sort code here i'm doing it very quickly so sort code I just need to add the sort code okay I'm just applying the sort code okay so since we are admin and we can simply uh, this is admin and we need to open the okay let us view the page and this is the uh, this customer portal only accessible by the customers looks like you are a support staff okay so we can open this page in a private browser can be good okay so coming soon what is it actually coming soon mode was on so uh, this is a theme feature it's not a fluent support feature so now we can go to the page and refresh it so i as i said i am i don't use to hide anything so <laughs> it is all on your screen okay so if a customer is logged in uh, so the customer can start a support request or if uh, he or she and have don't have any account so they need to create an account first of all and this is coming from fluent uh, support itself so first of all they need to create an account and they can raise tickets for support so we can quickly create the account but it is not required i'm just showing you how the system will work and 
uh, from their account login they can create support tickets uh, let me create an account okay that will be fine okay i just signed up by filling the details and now i am able to create a new ticket i'm just showing you um, how the system is going to work so the from the front end uh, where the sort code has been placed the customers and the service users can create a support ticket this is very important for customer you can add a support page on your website on the footer or wherever you want to show the support system so this is going to be a very integral part of this uh, support mechanism so a customer can raise support ticket and uh, we can trade uh, at test t i c k t and this is uh, the text editor as well this is for test and they can even upload the files so supported folders has been uh, written here and we can create a ticket so going back going to the back and start a conversion this is for test and this is, has been started and the ticket has been opened and we can check this ticket in the back end now i am going to the dashboard again where it is and the fluent support dashboard okay so we have one tickets and average uh, waiting time is here so max wait time is already set here and active so unassigned ticket is here so of course we need to create all the parameters of assigning tickets but ticket has been created as you can see so we can view the ticket this is test ticket here and we can simply check it so being an admin i can check everything so we have created this ticket and we can assign the ticket to a staff or uh, wherever so or if uh, it is only you who, who is providing support it, it is dropping to your dashboards and you can also see the my tickets what is open and uh, all so uh, open ticket unassigned tickets can be seen here so this is unassigned ticket and um, the all the details are uh, shown here and priority can be changed or everything so these features are very very advanced and i i would not be able to so like um, the fluent support team has shown here on the on their video so better you can go for um, better description there i'm just showing you fields and what actually you can do and how system is going to work so what is available here in fact so okay so uh, ticket tags uh, ticket form configuration and we can check from the dashboard so I have shown you how ticket is working and we can go to the tickets tickets is visible here and workflows so again we uh, need to create a workflow where uh, the ticket label and explanation matrix is going to be work so you can create a workflow or you can create automatic workflow uh, here so we can create a workflow name and automatic workflow will be created here so if you are not sure how you can create workflow so you can assign the task like select action so close ticket and assign add response close ticket add tax remove tax and all and okay so um, activities can be wiped here so uh, the ticket test ticket via web three minutes ago and as an administrator i have access to everything similarly you can uh, uh, create ticket tags so add new tag so whatever tag you want to uh, use for tickets like uh, is shown you ticket form configuration we can do so uh, what can be the ticket form like uh, contact heading and priority so as we seen in the front end so you can uh, definitely edit this form heading only login users only selected user roles so you have two options if you want to uh, assign different form to users or employer or editor or so whatever user and if it is for login users it can be different so it is up to you how you want to uh, show the form and custom fields you can add here so it is likely to required and similarly you can add products here 
and uh, for supporting on the so product and product description can be added here and again you have to create support staff since we have um, as we as of now we have yet not created any staff so all permissions are here so we can see the permissions here and all permissions for uh, admin is here you can add new staff so or whatever permission you want to assign them you can assign them so on view all reports or workflow permission settings and all so you can uh, add team members here and they will have their own login of course and uh, you can also integrate the fluent crm since we have uh, already installed the fluent base so it can be integrated here if here anyone any installation you is already using fluent crm it can be well integrated so i will rather advise you to if you are not having any uh, crm system for interacting with the customers you can use the fluent crm as well that is also very good uh, extension for customer support and all and that is also for handling the customers as well and you can uh, create the web hooks you no know, notification integration and of course licenses here so okay so uh, we have seen the screens and we can check the reports and you can also create tickets on customer behalf just in case if you are not offering the ticket system to the front end uh, at the front end for customers you can add a back end uh, a backend ticket so for every mail so whatever the system is already being used at your organization you can definitely um, create ticket according to that uh, i mean if you are providing whatsapp support you can create the whatsapp in the ticket details here and it can be assigned to internal team and further we can um, you can connect with your customers so if it is resolved and whatever is going on for the resolution okay so uh, similarly customers are here and as of now we just created one ticket request so one customer is being sold here and again you can add customers so mm, who are seeking uh, customer support or uh, those has been already added in your customer list you can add more customers and you can provide them the uh, ticket access uh, page uh, to them and they can further use the page or the system for support purposes similarly we have uh, some save replies like if you want to create new save replies i mean uh, in form of template what is to be replied directly in certain cases so you can create here activities okay so as of now uh, the business uh, owner i can see all the activities similarly business inboxes and what has uh, business inboxes what is exactly going on and few settings so we can connect the okay so workflows we have already seen and global setting is already here so i believe uh, this is a very wonderful system until it is not used uh, it you will not feel how really um, it is working so uh, why what i'll advise you you can go for it and you can uh, start using with the free version and once you are uh, familiar with the system you can go for the uh, premium one as well uh, as required to you and there is some feature difference in the pro and uh, free version so you can explore the possibilities so what uh, it you can use this uh, support system better for online shops digital agency support agents and entrepreneurs and service providers so everywhere it can be used so i believe this this is enough basic information about the uh, support system you can actually use this system and i'll also find another solutions through which you can really provide a uh, support to your customers and i believe you are already a subscriber of this channel if not you may please subscribe this channel i am coming with more solutions for you thanks for watching